I remember picking up a game at Play and Trade, and pretty much I did not know that it was based off of a movie, but little did I know that the game was fucking terrible. Yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and today on This Game Sucks, it's going to be Cutthroat Island, okay? Now let me mention something before it starts off, okay? Never watched a movie, but I'll probably give it a chance if the movie is good. Then, yeah, I'll review it. If not, then I'll do a rant on it. But, okay, let's get into it. So, mainly what the story is, is... I guess it's trying to tie into the movie or try to be something else, okay? I really don't know. I don't, I don't really care because, from what I can remember, the story sucks in the game. Alright? Let's get to the gameplay. Alright? Either if you're Morgan or Shaw, okay? Now, they both control like crap, okay? The controls are terrible on this. It doesn't matter what version you play, if it's the Super Nintendo version or the Sega Genesis version, but they're, they're both different versions, okay? Uh, Super Nintendo's version is a beat-em-up, and Sega Genesis is the one that I played is kind of like, like like a fighter or whatever. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, it kind of plays like a fighter, okay? Yeah, but uh, pretty bad hit detection, okay? Your, your character, if you get hit, I remember you, you get hit pretty bad, you're low on health, okay? Simple as that. And the blocking sucks in here, seriously. You try to block it doesn't deflect the attack. It The attack goes right through you, okay, as you try to guard or block, okay? Seriously, like, what the fuck was they thinking? How does attack go through a guard? Seriously, how the fuck does an enemy attack with a sword and go through your guard? That doesn't make no fucking sense, okay? Not only that, it takes a long time for your character just to hit, to attack, basically, okay? They move slow like this, something like that, okay? I remember it very well, alright? And then you, you, would, you would try to get away from the enemy, that would take a long time, as the character would walk slow... Or be slow. Okay, was this made by a slug or something? Seriously. Terrible gameplay, terrible controls. Okay. <sighs> My god, man. You know, the music, I remember the music being terrible in, in this fucking game. Seriously, I remember it being terrible. Alright. I mean, it was just god awful. As it sounded like, you know, like, let's just say a baboon um, farted and then, like, a dog came and, and shitted everywhere and then a cat came and pissed everywhere and then a cow threw up. Yeah, that's what basically the music is, okay? Seriously, it, it, it is that bad and that god-awful, alright? Seriously, like, ugh. And usually Genesis music for games is very good, but this, no. No, you just you just don't want to hear it, okay? You want to get spikes and gouge your eardrums out, okay? Seriously. Ugh. Okay, let's get to the last thing, and I want to end it, all right? The in-game graphics and the cutscenes. If I can remember correctly, the cutscenes was still pictures from the movie, the actual movie itself. And the pictures looked like dog shit, okay? The in-game graphics, all the cover colors are textured out of it, okay? Like it's, like it's bleached out, all right? It looks like... Something that you would make in uh, Crayola um, art. Okay, that, that's what it looks like. But except the Crayola art, 
is a lot better. That that's too high for it. Okay, but yeah, the the game, the game's graphics look like it's just horrible. It looks like a wretched piece of dog shit, and I'm not even lying about that. But anyways, I am out. Peace.